YouTube! How you doing? What is going on guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video. As you can see guys, today we are jamming online. So this is something pretty special for you fellas. And it's something pretty special for me. Because you guys know I never play online. This is honestly my first time playing online on any Call of Duty in about maybe 3, maybe even 4 to 5 months. I have no clue. It's been a long time, so I understand my red gunning skills are a little rusty at the moment. I'm also using the claw controller grip because you guys know I'm going to become a beast at using the claw controller grip. Not just for trick shining, but for sniping and red gunning as well. Just so I can be an all-rounder, awesome player. That's what it's all about. So the plan for today's video, guys, I'm basically going to get to last. And then once I get to last, I'll try and hit a donger for you guys. But I can't guarantee that I'm actually going to get to last. And I can't guarantee... Then I'm going to hit a donger because I've actually got to go to work in just half an hour. Frick, I forgot what my crouch button was. I haven't red gun for so long, this is terrible. But yeah, guys, I can't guarantee if I'm going to hit a donger or get to last. I've got to go to work in half an hour, which means I can only play like two to three games for you guys. So I'll, I'll do my best. I'll see what I can do. So I've actually got something a little exciting to share with you guys today. So a little earlier, I was scrolling through my sub box and I found an upload by T Martin. In that video, he was basically explaining the mechanics of infinite warfare and the movement and shit like that. And there's three interesting things that us trick shotters can pick up from that video. So if you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link down in the description. But I'll also explain what I mean in this video. So in Infinite Warfare, guys, we actually have the ability to either turn on or turn off the ability to cancel our reloads. Now, I don't know if you guys know what that means, but that simply means when we reload, we can cancel it by sprinting. Now, you guys know... On Black Ops 3, we didn't have that ability. We weren't able to do Running Man. So what this means is we may be able to do Running Man's on Infinite Warfare. So that's something to look forward to. Let's be honest, guys. On Black Ops 3, we couldn't do it. So it made trick shotting very limited. You guys know you can't knife into swap on Black Ops 3. But I don't believe you can knife into swap either on Infinite Warfare, but just having the advantage of being able to Running Man, it adds another variation we can add into our Trick Shot combo, so that will make it a little more interesting. Also guys, on Infinite Warfare, there is actually now a health bar above the enemies, so it's very similar to Destiny. I've never played Destiny, but I've seen some YouTubers play it, and that's kind of how I know what it means with the health bar and shit like that, but I honestly think the health bar is an awesome add or variation into the game, because that means now, when we actually get a hit marker, we may be able to see where the bloke is because the health bar may pop up. So we may see, okay, he was across the map. You know, if it was a wall bang, we wouldn't have known where he is. But now if we get a hit marker, we may be able to see where the kid is. And it's also pretty cool because when we actually hit marker him, we can see how much damage we actually put onto him. Normally you can't see that. So you might have only, you know, damaged him by 10%. Or you may have damaged him by 75%. Normally, we won't know. With this health bar, guys, we'll be able to know. I honestly think that is so dope. Like, it's going to be so cool just to be able to hit mark or a donger and actually see how much damage the bloke actually took. Like, I honestly think that's an awesome add into the game. Let me know what you guys think down in the description because, honestly, on T. Martin's videos, a lot of people are saying that that health bar add into the game is really stupid and dumb and it makes no sense. I honestly think it's dope. I can't wait for it. I cannot wait to play Infinite Warfare, guys. Also, to top things up, and this is probably my favorite combination on Infinite Warfare in terms of trick shotting. We actually now, guys, have the power slash the ability to actually be able to shoot whilst throwing stun grenades. This, oh, he's got duty dude in his, um, in his input HD. I, I know this guy. He's actually got duty dude in his emblem. But guys, we have the ability to shoot whilst throwing stun grenades. How dope is that? Now, that adds something that Black Ops 3 didn't have, and that also adds something that any other Call of Duty never had. For example, this game. When you throw a stun grenade, you're not able to shoot. But on Infinite Warfare, you can throw shit, and you can shoot at the same time. So that means you could possibly maybe even reload knack whilst throwing a stun grenade, or simply to spray your weapon whilst throwing shit. I honestly think that is so awesome. That adds so much into the game in terms of trick shotting. Guys, we've all got to get excited for Infinite Warfare. Honestly, I can't wait for it. I think it's going to be a little dope. I understand for trick shotting, it's going to be a little slow like Black Ops 3. Like, it's going to be impossible to hit shots on because we're going to be hovering in the air for so, so long. But the fact that we're able to do these extra things that Black Ops 3 wasn't able to allow us to do, 
I think it's kind of something to look a little a little excited to, shall I say. Ready, guys. So we are almost at last. Now, I saw that guy on the radar. I did not know where he was shooting me from. Let's just hope that... Oh, frick. I was just about to say, let's hope this lobby is a 29 lobby. But I guess I'm playing on a weekday during the day. So all the trick shotters are at school at the moment. So all the tryhards are on. But nevertheless, it is what it is. But aren't you guys excited for Infinite Warfare? I honestly think it's going to be sick. Like, I just can't wait for it. And COD 4 Remastered. I don't know what I'm looking uh, more forward to. COD 4 Remastered or Infinite Warfare. It's probably 50-50 for me right now because... COD 4, we've played before, so I feel like it's going to be a little boring because we've done it all before. But the fact that it's an on-ground Call of Duty, that's obviously pretty exciting. So I can't wait for that. And I can't wait for the fact that we got Carrier. This is going to be awesome. So this is maybe, it could maybe be our second last game, but it's most likely going to be our last game. So I'll try and get to last for you guys. We'll try and hit something special. Let's be honest, it probably won't happen. Oh, I just realized, guys, this is actually pretty dope. This guy here got ink in his clan tag. That is awesome. You guys know I never play online, like I said at the start of this video. So I never get to, you know, truly meet fans or just subscribers of mine. So the fact that that bloke there got ink in his clan tag, that means a freaking world to me. That is so sick. You guys are probably wondering why I'm so hyped. Like in my previous floaters video, if you haven't checked it out, link will be down in the description. I've always chucked links down in the description in all my videos recently. But guys, what was I saying? I completely forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot what... Okay, cut that out. We put that in the video. Alright guys, so this game is so far looking a little more promising than the previous one. We're actually currently draw first place or we're now in first place that's pretty sick so let's see what we can do i, I just ah oh, i don't know what's going on i forget how to knife i keep thinking i'm playing tactical and i go to knife this circle and then i just crouch and set a knife I don't know, guys. I'm just so rusty, honestly. This is awful. All right, guys. So this gameplay is not looking very promising. I've not done the commentary for a little while. I've been trying to concentrate. And I've been trying to get the last. But I'm just too rusty at the moment. It is honestly no good. I don't really enjoy online too much. I honestly just enjoy private match so much more. Because it's like permanently being on last in free for all. I just think it's awesome. And you guys know montages recently just... Oh, well, for me personally, montages just aren't as hyped as what they used to be. So... I'm not too fussed if I hit a usable donger or not. You guys know what I mean. So I'm just not too fussed about playing online and shit like that. So that's kind of like the main reason why I jam private match. I just don't see the reason in terms of playing online if I'm not interested in making a montage and hitting clips. I'm just interested in hitting dongers in private match. That is honestly so much more fun. Because when you trick shot in private match, there's no delay whatsoever, unlike there is online. Which means online trick shotting, it's a little delayed, it's a little slower. In private match, it's a little quicker. And I just think it's so much more sicker. In other news, guys, I've got some sad news to share with you fellas. So I've actually got a busted shoulder. I don't know what is going on. But my left shoulder is completely destroyed at the moment. Like, for some reason, I could not lift my left arm up above my shoulder height. I don't know what's going on, but it is pissing me off. I have not been to the gym for so This guy is spraying. I've not been to the gym for four days, guys. And that is honestly doing my head insane. But what I've been doing instead, guys, instead of lifting weights, I've actually been doing a shit ton of cardio. This morning, for example, I actually went for a nice six kilometer run, just casual pace. But honestly, running is so good for mental health. What I've been noticing since I've been running a lot more recently, I've been feeling so much more better about life. You guys have probably known in my videos recently, I've just been way more hyped and shit like that. It's just been awesome. So if you guys have any troubles in your life, I'll tell you something. I'll give you tips with Thinky right here, guys. Go for runs. Start doing some cardio. When you guys go for runs, a lot of people think they have to push themselves to the limit. Trust me, you don't have to. Just chill. Go for a nice chilled 3km run, 2km run, 5k run, whatever suits you. Just, just go at a casual pace. Love life. Enjoy life. Go when the sun is setting. And trust me, guys, it helps so much with mental health. Alrighty, boys. We have got to last. This is what it's all about. This is why you guys are clicked on this video. You guys want to see Inky hit us absolute smoker online. Alrighty, can we trick shot? Yes, we can. Let's do this. Alrighty, guys, so I don't think I'm going to be bothering at the 1440 because let's be honest, my chances of hitting a 1440, my first game online in a solid four months, I honestly think it's very, very slim. So we're going to be jamming some nice 720 combos. Maybe even... What the frick is that kid doing? Alright, 720. Here we go. Mm, I would have hit that. <laughs> Alright, we run around the corner. We come up here. I've never hit a donger from there. I've always, always, like back in the days, I've always wanted to hit a donger from that railing, like to top jets or something and search and destroy. But I've never hit it. But one day I'm going to smoke it and I'm going to love life. I'll tell you that. All right, here we go, guys. So you get some fakies going. Oh, I've always wanted to wallbang that control room as well. Never done it. I always see everyone else do it, but I've never done it. Okay, 720 backdrop. This kid. Oh my God, I just got Jude, guys. Oh, by the way, how beautiful. 
How beautiful does the double cold cam- wait, cold? How beautiful does the double gold camo look? Honestly, oh my god, there's a kid down there. Here we go. Oh my god. You guys want You guys want to know something? I used to always go for- wait, hold up. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> I used to always go for the 1080 backdrop over the Blackbird for like three years straight, and I've never hit it. This is back in the days, guys, when I used to jam S&D so hard, and I was never able to hit it. Like, honestly, it pissed me off so hard. I swear the 1080 over the Blackbird is like literally impossible for me. I don't know why, but so many people have hit it, and for some reason, I've never hit it in my life, and gee, does it piss me off. In other news, this morning I had a test, guys. I'm not going to lie. Recently, I've been getting lazy with university and shit like that. I just did not put 100% effort in. I only got 2 out of 5. Now, this test was only worth 5% to our end of year mark, but still, I've been averaging about a 90% average throughout the year, and I just got a little lazy this morning. I've stuffed up my score on the test, and honestly, guys, I'm so generally pissed off right now. It's so... Mm. Oh, check it out, guys. We're on the Save Inky account. A few of you fellas probably be like, why are you in your save account? Well, it's max level on Black Ops 2, that's why guys. Here we got Save Mexican, I think he has session joined me. This bloke here is actually a beast at Black Ops 2. He has hit some serious dongers. We've actually recorded some videos together. This is actually quite, uh, he just goes, hey friend, this is quite funny. Like, everyone, like, I know so many people in Black Ops 2. It's like everyone that trick shots on this game, I literally know. Like, you just get in the game, it's like, hey, I played with that guy before. You don't get that on Black Ops 3. On Black Ops 3, you're just with complete randies you never met in your life, and it's quite sad, really. Alrighty, guys, so the plan for this video, I mean this video, this game right now, I'm just going to concentrate. I ain't going to talk, I'm going to jam, I'm going to freaking, oh, I'm going to get to last, guys, so I'll see you fellas in a few moments. Mm! What? Ugh, I was so close to last, guys. Look, 27 to 30. This bloke's a trick shot. I don't think he realized he was on last. All right, all that concentration for nothing. Look at him. Judy dude in his emblem, and this is what he does. What the fr- Is that an M27? That gun looks kind of cool. I honestly need a trick shot with that in floaters mode. Anyways, guys. We're going to wrap up the video there. I know it's nothing special, but you guys know I'm super busy, so I'm just I'm trying to upload something here and there for my OG subscribers, for people that want to know what's going on in my life and stuff like that. Trust me, I'm not uploading this video to take away from another video. I'm uploading this video because I literally had half an hour free. Now, I didn't have half an hour free to make like a full-on trick shotting video because that can take quite a bit of time. So yeah, don't think, guys, when I'm making these commentary videos, they're being taken away from my trick shotting videos or my collab videos or whatever. You know, I'm just making them because I feel like making them and uh, yeah anyways we're gonna leave it that have a good day see you later Every day was a celebration to my infatuation But now I'm lacking in education The rhythm taking me to places Only yell at script for total domination Just thinking I'm making music And you can sell them like 30 million copies So for a Michael Jackson album